today I'm gonna show this uh, uh, Tesla coil uh, video it's an update uh, I finally got the rest of the uh, components in the mail so I have uh, completed um, here I have a 5 i timer to pulse the uh, engine and MOSFET I have over here now a uh, true amp uh, 1000 volt diode in the previous video I had here uh, 3 1 amp diodes so uh, this is uh, much nicer and better uh, this is still the ignition coil as you can see over here these two tiny uh, blue capacitor are uh, 2000 uh, kilovolt each they are rated I think um, 100 uh, picofarad two in parallel this is 200 picofarad at uh, 20,000 uh, kilovolts this is my uh, yeah simple basic uh, spark gap uh, these two rods over here are tungsten uh, rods um, yeah basically it is still the same as before the output this time isn't that good but uh, it does work so I'm pretty happy with it uh, I think I just need to you know, push more juice through it but it is still working it's been a nice yeah, setup to play with um yeah what can I s what more can I say about um the five five timer is pulsing this muscle here which is pulsing the ignition coil the output the high voltage output from the ignition coil is over here going to um let me put it this way the capacitor are in um, parallel connected to the output and the ground wire and then the positive side of the output which is this one goes to the spark gap and then goes to the beginning of the primary okie dokie yeah that's about it nothing special gonna hook it up using a small battery over here and two leads One over here. I am gonna do a 13 watt tube load, but uh, it's very lit, not much. You will see it in a moment. And here it goes. There's the spark over there. There it is in the dark. Nice spark. Here is the tube. As you can see, the tube is lit, but barely lit. You can see it in the dark, but it's not much. So yeah, it is working. The proof of principle is okay. Just need to fine tune it. with the neon bulb and there's a neon lit just a tiny bit once more the spark gap performing pretty good so yes it is possible to use a ignition coil to drive your tester coil but you really need to tune it so it works at its best I can move this wire a little bit and stop it, put it closer yeah started to smell a little funny here in the laboratory so uh, I'm gonna unhook it it's performing pretty well and the heat sink of the MOSFET is absolutely cold 
So I don't know the draw, but uh, it is not that much. Otherwise you would feel it at the heat sink. Running nicely. I'll give you a look like this, like this. Still have the same top load on it. Nothing special. Just a small update on this setup. This setup for me is uh, down now. It's going in the closet. And maybe in the future I will make a larger one if I have the room for it. Okay. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.